sandwich, friend? Hi, Sheldon. Egg salad. Stinky. What do you want? I have some bad news. I'm going to join a club on campus, which means we won't be able to have lunch together. Wonderful. <laughs> for you. Sad for me. Hmm. Happy trails. Oh, no. We're still having lunch today. You get to help me decide which club I should join. Terrific. For some reason, Dr. Linkletter felt it was important that I start my quest to join a club immediately. The interview process was tougher than you'd expect. So why exactly should I join your club? Well, cool people, good chess players, and when the weather's nice, we meet in the quad. Outside? Yes. Under trees? Yes. Where birds live? Yes. I think we're done here. So what kind of activities does the science fiction club engage in? Well, this Friday we're having a screening of Star Wars on Laserdisc. I thought this was the science fiction club. It is. Star Wars is science fantasy. The Force is basically magic. At that point, you might as well be watching The Hobbit. That's next week. This is madness. Proposition. The newest member of the debate club should be Sheldon Cooper. You're the affirmative. Go. Who's Sheldon Cooper? Me. And I believe I should not join the debate team because there are far more valuable uses of my time. Do you want to join or not? That's the debate, isn't it? I don't know what's happening. If you're thrown for a loop, wait until you hear my rebuttal. Sheldon Cooper should not join the debate team because your leadership is clearly questionable. Okay, you're not in the club. Ha! I win. Wait. Missy, has your social experience in middle school been going well? So good, it's nuts. Are you a member of any clubs? Well, in the cafeteria we car table Heather M and the Funky Lunch Bunch. Well, I meant school sanctioned clubs. The FLB is a pretty big deal. I don't get why people think that the social aspect of education is so important. Maybe because the education aspect is so boring. But that's the whole point of school. Eh, I'll stick with being popular. I'd like to point out that one of us has a Nobel Prize. All the other one has is a loving family and friends, which I also have. Boy, did I win. Next day, I set out to start my own club. It involved science, education, and all the glitz and glamour of show business. All I had to do was sit back and wait for my new proton posse to come rolling in. Greetings, fellow Professor Proton fan. Oh, I thought this room was empty. Well, it's not. This is a meeting of the Professor Proton Appreciation Club. Would you like to fill out an application? I'm just looking for someplace quiet. I understand. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's going to show up, so if you would like to read here, you're welcome to. Okay. Now, I was only starting this club because my mother wanted me to make some friends. And not just her. It started with my physics professor, Dr. Linkletter, who I thought was my friend, but then decided... Are you going to keep talking? Got a book. That day, the Read and Silence Club was born. Its members were me and my new friend. What's your name? Shh. And my new friend, that guy. 